Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be coloring in Imaginary Friends by Karolina Kubikowska. I've chosen a Halloween themed picture and I promised you all a while ago that I would be doing a coloring video with my Holbein pencils. And so here they are. These were a fabulous birthday present uh, from my lovely friend Melody. And um, it took me a while to get to know them because, of course, they are so super beautiful. I was a bit scared to dive mm. into their world. Uh, but I have done quite the pictures with them now and I'm starting to know how to apply them in a in a good way uh, because every pencil needs its own pressure and and um, or non-pressure and um, so yeah i feel ready to do a video while using them i have my tripod set up in a different way than others than otherwise or then on other moments, so I hope it will be nice to look at. I'm going to do these, these in parts because I don't have too much time to film today, so it will be split up. And the page that I will be working on is this one. So it's from the Imaginary Friends coloring book. And I've already um, played with the background using my brush hole powders. A good friend of mine got some likewise powders and yeah, I, I just had to use mine again. And um, this book has a lot of brush -o in it because the paper is super thick. It does bleed through. I'm going to show. So you only can use it with single-sided pictures. Um, but... I like the effect and I wanted to do something bluish purplish for this little witch and yeah I'm, I'm happy with how this background is looking. Um, I was thinking about doing some acrylic splatters but now I'm not sure anymore. Maybe I will do some um, pearlescent splatters or I don't know yet. Um, I'm going to take my protective glove, if I can find it here in my um, desk organizer. It's disappeared and oh no, it's fallen down because the brush -o can come off on your hands. So, um, and I'm going to see, maybe I will try to make the natural light come in a little bit because this isn't quite handy to look at. I think I will have too many bright areas or is it? No, it's fairly decent. Decent, so. Okay. So. I'm just going to take my protective page to put behind these pages and then I will be back just one moment how can I pause it here okay my protective pages are placed I'm going to sit down and start coloring in her face um, I'm going to use the sherry blossom as a base and I will darken the extra shades up with some other colors. So here we go. So it has been a while since I've colored in Carolina's book. And when I was flipping through it and I saw this little lady, it was super tempting to start working on her because of uh, the Halloween season. And I, min I must mention that I'm not using any hard pressure. I really feel that I've learned to know 
the whole bind pencils. So I'm going to do every body part visible with the cherry blossom color. Normally I start with my darker shades, but I wanted to turn around that uh, working method. It keeps the coloring refreshing, I think, to turn around your method some from time to time. So she has a little color already. Um, I haven't thought about my um, exact color scheme yet. But I think I will be using kind of a henna type of pencil. And so I'm grabbing, grabbing mahogany for some darker parts here and there. It's possible that I will be doing her hat and her dress with Inktense or Albrecht Dürer, I'm not sure yet, because there's a lot of black going on and then it's better to work with another medium, I think. And maybe it's not visible on camera, but she has a bit of blue from the brush on her face, but I'm hoping to cover that up once I go in with some extra blush. To shadow a bit here and a bit beneath her lip. I'm going to play some shadows here on her nose. I'm really loving Carolina's artwork. It's such it's so different. A bit dark sometimes, especially her second and her first book. But yeah, I really love it. I love her tattoos too. I don't have any tattoos. I don't think I'm the the, the type that um is looking good with tattoos. Some people really look good with tattoos and I like seeing them but I'm not the type that looks good with them but if I should take a tattoo it would it would be a design by Carolina definitely I have been thinking about a tattoo on one of my fingers um, with a little foot of a bird so that it could stand for my memory of Jenneke, my little birdie, but um, being tattooed on a bone is quite painful I've heard so and since I'm uh, not the best person that can handle pain I don't think it will ever happen. Um, I have to think I always have to think with uh, color bones where to put some extra shade. And to talk about the whole binds, they feel very different from the Prisma colors. Although they, these are soft pencils, I do think you can feel the oil that's inside because I've uh, read somewhere I think that it's kind of a hybrid pencil wax and oil combined and I, I think you can feel both uh, um, maybe I'm just talking silly but they feel different than than another wax or old oil based pencil so okay this little lady has some extra shadow already Mm, I'm seeing my sepia 
and I like to use sepia for extra shading too so here we go but as you can see I can put on layers quite well without having the feeling that the page is saturated already. I'm glad I can show you how they color. Of course, there are some other lovely colorists that have been using the whole bunch. Our Sammy and Jen. But I wanted to share my feelings and thoughts about them too. It really took me a while to 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 fall in love with them because I just because I was a bit afraid they they're so beautiful and 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 especially they're not for sale here. You have to import them from Japan, so you can't go to an art shop here and 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 get you some spares. So uh, I was uh, very economical with them and, and it was a bit stupid because I restricted myself for coloring it with them, especially if I was working in some economical, more economical books like the Hannah Lynn ones. But I've stopped thinking like that and now I'm using them in every book that I want and that's, that's what's supposed to happen. If you have a pencil that you love and or that you want to get to know better, use them in a in a book or on a page that you adore and not on a specific type of paper quality or just try them out. They work on every paper on a different way, so it's definitely not a waste to um, experience how they work on thinner paper or on thicker paper. They love this paper that I can feel. Definitely. Okay. What, which color will I be using also? Maybe I'm in the brown region and this is just a simple brown. Not going in too heavy with this one. Or not too much. I'm, I'm light. I'm coloring light-handed, but I don't want to give her a too orangey or brownish look. But she can have some warmth in her face. Okay, I'm really liking how she's looking at silly me. I'm forgetting her hand. So this is this mahogany color. And a bit of that sepia here for some extra shadowing. A bit of that brown, just to warm it a bit. Okay, now just going to take a look at that pastel palette again. Mm. I want to give her a pale complexion I think I'm going to use ivory yeah I want to 
and give her a soft but not too dark highlight although the cherry blossom is beautiful also and now I'm pressure I press a bit harder to blend the different colors in a bit better this is a bit of a harsh line but okay and I am slightly succeeding on covering up that blue um, yeah stain that she got before I forget her hands I'm just going in okay I'm really liking how she's looking. So after doing her skin, I will stop this video because I have to think about what to use on the other details. I think I will be using watercoloring um, products for her outfit but for her hair and, and the plants and such I'm not sure yet maybe I will use the whole binds I have a bit of a stain here too but yeah okay I can live with that she can have some more ivory well no I just colored over a particle of that brush oil and now she has some blue stripes in her face but luckily it's not too noticeable. For the blush I'm just using pink. And I'm using a medium pressure. But you can see that it's covering up you can keep on coloring with whole blinds i think it's it's i don't have a, a feeling that the page is saturated and it's it's wonderful the blush can be quite visible but just to weaken it a little bit i'm going in with that Ivory again. Maybe the, hard, the lines are a bit too harsh. So. And I'm going to give her a bit of a pink nose. I'm also grabbing the white. I love this white. It also lifts up some um, some details, and it's the regular white because on in the whole binds you have another white. It's called soft white, and you can see the difference. It's uh, like this. And a normal Holbein pencil looks like this. You can see I've used my white quite a lot already. And it's even softer and more uplifting than the normal white. But I want to spare this one as much as possible. So, okay, this lady is looking quite lovely. Now I'm going to finish this with... I'm taking a risk here, but I am I want to give her some blood looking bloody looking eyes Carolina has designed her eyes in a a special way so I want to keep
keep them quite special. She hasn't drawn an iris, so I'm not adding an iris either. I'm just adding this red glow. And I think I'm going to use for her lips carnation. So I don't want her lips to be too dark, but I don't want them to be red either. It, this is kind of a pinkish color. I'm hoping this will work out a bit. I'm always having difficulties to interpret a mouth. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. She's coming to life or alive already. Just adding some extra white. Some extra ivory. Here, and I'm just going in with that brown again on the side. To give her that warmer look. Okay, so this little lady has her skin tone, she has her blush. I'm just going to lift up a little extra without pressure. I'm going to highlight that nose again. Okay, so I will return in another part with the other elements. I just have to think, uh, think a bit what to use on all the other elements. Well, I will put aside and what I will uh, yeah, use to make it as magical as possible. So I thank you very much for watching. I hope you've liked this little Holbein color.